Hey y'all guys, this is Floater Boy Stanislav here, and yeah, it's pretty unusual to see myself on camera, because I, I really don't do that that much, and I guess since it's a new year, I'll start doing that. So, I back, I'm back from Florida, and it's really cold here in Minnesota, so I'm just going to show you what I brought back with me. So, let's get to it. Uh, you see, I have quite a few things. Yeah, quite a few. I have a lady finger palm I picked up in the alley and it looks great. I planted it like a week and a half ago and it's not turning brown. I think the roots have finally established and it's good. So I'm glad to have this part of my collection. And same with this one right here, same with this cabbage palm. Because if you notice and you look at this one, this one and this one, they sure don't look like this one, which this one has kept its fronds, and they have not folded up or turned brown. They look perfect. So we'll move on to this one. This is a cabbage palm, and it was going really bad on me, so I just clipped it all the way back to the core. And I was just hoping it would establish its roots and then grow, but let's just hope that happens. This right here is a evergreen live oak tree. It's the most seen tree down in Florida. Everyone has them in their yards. It's, just, it's a really nice tree and they're huge and they have the really big trunks that sway down and everything. You see them down in the south, like George, Savannah, Louisiana, Texas, I guess. But yeah, got one of those. Uh, here's another cabbage palm that is not looking too pretty. And this one too, this one's not too pretty either. And here is another live oak with two branches. Well, yeah, two stems. So it looks it looks nice. So I'm glad to have that part of my collection. And you can see these cabbage palms right here have shot out all new fronds. And these right here have just grown. Like, look, I am just amazed at the height of this right here. And that here, that spiky, that spiky begging for food all of a sudden. Um, so yeah, that's all I brought back from St. Pete, Florida, and I'm glad to spend my winter there, my winter break. No, oh, I wish I could spend my winter there, but uh, yeah, and uh, everything else looks fine. Like you can see the Southern Magnolia right here, shout out two new lush green leaves, and it also is shooting out another maybe set of two, so that's pretty cool. And then we also see that we have the tomato plant, which has grown significantly within three weeks. It's just, hopefully I could get some tomatoes. I don't know. I don't even know what kind of tomato it is. Uh, the uh, crown of thorns is still blooming, which it's just unbelievable how that thing just keeps on blooming. But it, I don't know. It's just cool. Um, what else is there? The chef layer has stopped its growing point because it's actually dropped off its grow it literally dropped off its grow point right there but uh yeah hopefully it'll grow in the spring uh the bougainvillea which is hard to see in here is uh growing a lot actually it shut out like five or six new leaves but they're really tiny but they're all new leaves and then that's all oh, this is also a cabbage palm up here and you can see what i mean when it like closes all its fronds up like this one right here is doing it right now but I don't know, let's just hope it, it establishes its roots. Uh, the plumeria in the back has finally gone dormant, and so it has this desert rose. So that's nice, but it looks like the Madagascar palms back there are coming out of dormancy, so pretty interesting to see. Um, this right here is the lemon tree, and it is putting on more growth. It's like, I really don't know what to do. It's in this tiny little pot. I gotta find more space down here to put in a bigger pot, and it is, it's just huge. Look at that. I should just turn it into a bonsai, but I really wanna plant one of these in my yard when I move back to Florida sometime. Uh, the pitcher plant is doing fine. I clipped off the top because it was just getting way up into the rafter up there, and it was just getting out of control, so I clipped it back, and surprisingly, it's starting to, it's starting to grow at the base again, so that's pretty cool. Um, I have no clue what this is. It's, this is from this guy right here, this elephant ear type plant. I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I'm wondering if it's a bloom or if it's a new, a new leaf coming out, but, but usually the frond or the leaf comes out in the middle. 
But this has been here for weeks. And the, the leaf opens up within one week. So, yeah. And then you see in the back, this succulent has gotten so huge. You can see down there, it's just gotten huge. And I gotta find a way to keep it alive for the next couple months and get it out in the garden for people to check out. And I think that's about all I have to show y'all, but uh, let me take it over to the terrarium. So I did get some new stuff too. I got some wild wandering Jew out of the out of a creek down in Florida, and I got some spider wart. But this one right here is completely died, as you can see, it's turned black, which you can't see it. But uh, this one right here is, looks like it's established. It's doing quite fine. It's still green. But you can see in here, it's just everything's overgrown. It's crazy. You can't even see the 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 what's it called orchid. The Phalaenopsis back there is gone, basically. But uh, I'm going to have to find a way to clean up in here and make it nice and visible again. But it does look cool like this. It's like a little jungle. So that's all I have to show y'all. And thank you for watching. Like, like, and subscribe. And I'll have another update video next week. And we'll just hopefully everything makes through the winter. So happy winter. Happy New Year. And looking forward for a good 2016. Alright, bye.